I feel tense, but I feel so tall right now. <laughs> you look taller. Today we are back with another episode with John and John will be teaching us about climbers back. John, why exactly is climbers back? What happens with a lot of climbers, they spend so much time on the wall getting really tight trying to send their climbs that they end up adopting this position. So seeing kind of from the side, my neck is forward, my shoulders are starting to cave in. Over time, you develop that posture, which is not ideal because it puts a lot of strain on the neck muscles. Is there a difference between a regular hunchback and climber's back? A lot of young people today on their cell phones, all of us driving too much and working at the office station. What happens is you develop that same posture. So there's not much difference between the two. Do you think I have climber's back? You may have a little bit of a forward head posture. It's not too bad. It's something we could definitely correct. So the bottom of the shoulder blades kind of pinch them together right here where I'm touching you. So not too aggressively, relax the arms at the side. Okay, pretend like there's a puppeteer directly above you pulling your head on a straight line. So let's actually get the tailbone kind of like a scared dog. They kind of tuck their tailbone underneath. Give your butt a slight wink right there. And posture looks pretty good right there, just lowering the chin. It's all about maintaining this after you climb. Do I look like I'm straight right now? Looks like you're pretty straight. Because that kind of position isn't quite natural for me. I have to be tense and yeah. kind of uh, use my muscles to maintain that position. Uh -huh. So what kind of exercise can I do to make that position natural? For me? Yeah, I'm going to show you three exercises. Some of them are actually stretches too. First exercise I'm going to show you. We're trying to strengthen all the muscles of the upper back, the postural muscles, which are mostly endurance oriented muscles. The prone cobra, you start in a prone position. I'm actually gonna keep my butt totally relaxed, arms out to the side, thumbs are gonna be up. I'm gonna lift the upper back off the ground, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So I'm trying to lift my chest as much as I can off the ground. And immediately when I do this, I feel all the muscles in my back lighting up. Yeah, especially the muscles that squeeze the shoulder blades together and the rear deltoids. I'm being careful not to extend my neck in this position. We don't want to put any compression on the neck, keeping the chin tucked, just holding this for time, trying to breathe naturally. Okay, I want you to lift way up. Now I want you to tuck your chin so it's nice and straight. There we go. Superman. You want to hold this guy for at least a minute. You're going to do this post-workout. Let's say you just get done bouldering. Do three sets of one minute at the end of the workout. You can actually rest your legs. Yeah, so we don't want to use the lower body on this one. It's just about the upper body. What you can do before and after climbing on the foam roller, it's a fantastic tool. We call these spinal mobilizations. So using the foam roller, we can do reverse crunches over the top to kind of open up the back in the direction opposite of the flexion. So we're trying to open up into extension. I'm gonna cradle my neck, trying to flatten my back as a whole. I don't wanna stay in extension. I'll have a nice inhale, exhale over the top. And you may feel a little crack in there. It actually feels pretty good. Usually three repetitions per position. After this, I'm just gonna roll up one vertebra. So I'm getting a little bit closer in the shoulder blades. And again, inhale. Exhale over the top. Roll again. So you can bend the knees. Yep, there we go. So cradle the neck. There we go. So I want you to take a big inhale and then drape yourself all the way over the foam roller. Exhaling on the way down. If I get a foam roller, can I use this at home and do the same move every day? Absolutely. You can do it in the morning when you wake up. You can do it before bed, before a workout or after a workout. With the climber's hunch, typically the lap muscles get extremely tight. What I'm going to do is wrap my hands inside, grabbing onto this post. Get a little bit of tension just so we feel it right here. Hinge those hips back. So you should feel a big stretch from the armpit all the way down to the waistline. I'm also acting on this arm with the post, almost actively pulling it back. And if that's not enough stretch, you can actually rotate underneath. You can either do repetitions like I'm doing or just hold from here. And I want you to push your butt all the way back. Good, keep a lot of tension through here. And now let's rotate the chest this way. Thank you, John, for joining us today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in learning more details about Climbers Pack, John actually wrote an amazing article in detail in his blog. So be sure to check it out. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.